So I'm all geared up, ready to head off. We're parked not that far out of Walhalla. There's a little creek here that you can probably hear running. That runs into Stringers Creek. So the track I'm gonna to follow today is an old timber tram line. Pink marker to get the day rolling. So in its heyday, Walhalla had a mine, an underground mine that needed firewood to run the boilers that ran the crushers. So all through the valleys and gullies of Walhalla, there are tram lines that they used to cart the timber back into Walhalla. This is very overgrown, but easy to follow because you're just staying at the one contour. So it's a bash, but it's not a hard bash. Gosh, this is shonky. Very shonk. So the valley that this track contours follows Stringers Creek and on the opposite bank would be the road from Rawson to Walhalla and in between that road and where I am now is the Walhalla Railway. So there's a bit of a deviation here. The contouring track continues along, but there's a track, contouring track above us that we're going to pick up now. There's a pink marker here, yellow marker there. So it's been a bit of a climb up to this next level. As you can tell by my puffing, but you can tell that it is a properly, although overgrown, defined track. So we're heading into a gully at the minute. It's getting a bit cooler. And the track gets a bit dodgy where you're crossing gullies, because once upon a time, there would have been a nice bridge and now there's nothing but a big gully. I'll show you what I mean when we get there. So, this is what I mean about dodgy. It would be easy to continue up the gully, but I'm now turning down the other side. Oh, there's a marker. And here we go. Back on to find some more contouring track. I wonder how much it would cost to actually open up this track and would people want to go and see the waterfalls? Zippo, I think I'm going this way. That bit of pink tape looks relatively new, not too faded. So it, someone's been out here since we were here last. And I think there was no yellow markers. We just picked up this old green marker. Mind you, we found the falls on our second attempt. <laughs> I'd like to walk on this log, but it's as slippery as some crawling. The dog's making it look easy. Beep, beep. Actually, the ground's not that far away. So I'm stepping up. Whew. Prickly bushes. Rah. Oh, this is going to be fantastic footing. Footage. Bad footing. Bad footage. 
We're getting there, people. We're getting there. So we're coming up to the third gully. I think I can hear water running. I think I can spy some falls. Not bee falls, but some other falls. So I've come to this little set of falls. And up above that is what I've come to look at. Is where I'm heading for. It's a large basalt cliff. I think it's basalt. And normally, when we haven't had so much rain, the water just trickles over right across the front of it. Can I pick up the spider web? 50 million at Spiderweb. Sorry, Mr. Spider, I'm getting through. I hope I'm giving some hope I'm giving some perspective on the steepness. That's me upright. I'm naturally drawn to the rock though. Um Atticus at this point it's probably Two and a half times me. I'm five foot eight. So do the math. But as you go along, it gets higher and higher. The water looks lovely and tiny. It's quite spectacular. Probably four times my height here. So the whole face of the rock is actually weeping water. Try next. Oh, it 
rip off my finger. Come on, tip. That's very impressive. Worth the bash. Well, Zip, it's time to head home, matey. Back through the jungle. So if you're wondering how we know about this weeping rock, it's actually found it marked on one of my maps. And then we just deducted that it must have been close to a tram line, and the rest is history. So if you're thinking of doing this hike, don't do it in flip-flops and sneakers and bare legs. At least have sturdy boots on, at a minimum. So we're getting back towards the start of the track. Thanks to anyone that's got through to the end of the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram too, because I do a lot of photography. Not good photography, just photography. I just lost my hat. And just some old rocks at the side of the track. Yeah, I'm getting there, dog. So I'll see you next time in the great outdoors.